Okay. Welcome to the next one. Whatever number this is. I don't know why I'm doing that. All right. All right, hang on. Let's do this. This is pretty funny. Yeah, that's right. Run away, bitch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> next one. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The next one. Ah. Here we go. Pull back. Push forward. And don't crash. Loopiness de la loop. This one's the loopy flying one. It's dark in here. I have to record with the lights off so that all the light comes in from the TV to the camera. Planes, current clear, yada yada yada. There's your track map. Mallard, you're going to need the Mallard for this one. Definitely. Hell, you're going to need the Mallard for essentially all of my tracks because I make them with the Mallard in mind because that's the one plane I use. Because it's the best plane to use. In my opinion. It's not the fastest, no. It's definitely the most agile, though. And that's where the fun is. You know, you don't want to just burn it. You want to fucking fly. So the idea of this one is to do loops in the sky. Loopy in the sky. Ooh, pull back, pull back. There it is. Stay upside down. Stay upside down. Pull back again. Pull back. Pull back. And up, up we go. And up again. Now this one's tricky. That was easy. <laughs> This one, that was a backward uh, loop. Now we do a forward loop. But unfortunately, I done it at an angle <laughs> when I made it. So, yeah, that happens. You lose it. And no, I didn't go back to uh, change it because I'm lazy. And I can't be asked. There it is. There it is. So, the forward loop fails because you just end up doing that unless you do this uh, come on no it didn't get it but the idea is you're supposed to be upside down by that one but you know what it's still fun pull up pull up Whoa. so you are kind of supposed to be upside down by this part and then you write yourself, and then you go under the bridge, you don't hit the lights. And then you continue on with the rest of it. Oh. Going to the left. Going to the left again. Crest in the hill. That's a nice sunset. Is that sunset or sunrise? That's sunset, isn't it? Yeah. Knife in the tower. Meow. Knife in the building. Bonus points for actually doing it. Oh shit. Whoa. <laughs> that was close. I actually thought I was going to crash that. I mean, I, I like to think I'm a good pilot in the game, but I'm not awesomely good. I'm just standardly good. <laughs> a little crazy though. Whoa. Which way am I going now? This is why you keep an eye on your little mini map. So, whoa, there it is. Spiraling up. Up, up, and away. Man, it's really nice sunset. Shame you can't take pictures while in races. I've had some really awesome sunsets and sunrises. Really picturesque. And I'm in a race and I can't take pictures of it. So it's like, ah. Oh, well, at least I get to witness it, you know. It's funny, you know, you get really cool sunset sunrises in a game, in a virtual world. Really nice. I mean, like, it doesn't beat reality when it happens, but it doesn't happen that much. 
not where I live anyway. It's always cloud cover or busy playing a game or something. <laughs> Doing commentary on a race. On a race! Let me know in the comments actually if uh, you can do download a race from that was made on an Xbox 360 and if you can play it on a PS3 and vice versa. That because that would be cool. And likewise uh, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Cause that would be that would just open up everything. That would be so good. Right, real tight turns in this one. Don't hit the crane. <laughs> That's close. Cause yeah, I mean imagine that. I mean like that would be awesome. You got people making tracks on all four consoles and then people can enjoy them on all four consoles. That's the one thing that's really missing when it's content created stuff on a specific platform. I mean I can understand the difference between a console and PC crossover in terms of content but consoles are pretty much on par with each other so I don't see why not. I mean like, another game that could have done that was uh, Trials Fusion although I'm waiting until I get my Xbox One before I get that. Because that one would be uh, pretty cool to have uh, yeah as soon as you hit stall it just gets the uh, thing interesting so this one is supposed to be upside down as, as well for, but it's hard to get up there she's she said yeah I mean community made stuff is just awesome uh oh because it takes what has been made by the developers and then it just goes nuts because people come up with some crazy ideas from really crazy uh, let's see forge on halo 3 and reach and the editor especially the editor in trials evolution um, all showed what the communities are avail are capable of creating and it's just nuts fuck where did I think I was going with this one into the side of a building yes yeah, I'm totally flying this entirely wrong whoa that spawn man holy shit uh oh uh oh oh shit that's a building <laughs> that's a building Boom. <laughs> Did I get it? Oh, uh oh. No. <laughs> Man, these spawns, lol. Brilliant. Too brilliant. Uh, don't clip it. You must clip it. Under the bridge. Under the bridge. Oh, yes. Watch out for those towers. Now the idea of this is you're supposed to turn into it into from the right, but there's oh right into the camera. There's really no incentive to go through that way. There really isn't. Nice shot of the casino there, though. Six thousand seven hundred and twenty-eight dollars. You said pounds, eh? Pounds. Race over onto the next one. Give this one thumbs up. Wait for it, and thumbs! Alright, on to the next one!